Rhode Island House passed a bill that would incorporate African American heritage history education in all elementary and secondary schools in the Ocean State. The passage did not come without some heated debate, though. And 12 News reporter Alexandra Leslie listened in on the testimony, and some of the lawmakers voted against one section of the bill in particular, Alex. Yeah, the problem some had was the way that Black Lives Matter was written as copy in the bill. They say by capitalizing BLM that Republican Minority Leader Blake Phillippe said that the bill would be referring to a group he says has largely contributed to one party, Democrats, and that it wouldn't be appropriate to include that in the state's general laws. So Phillippe asked for a separate vote on that legislative findings portion of the bill, which eight Republican lawmakers voted against. Representative Anastasia Williams, who sponsored the bill, said the goal is to give all students, quote, a more comprehensive understanding of the crucial role that Rhode Island played in the slave trade throughout the history of our nation, as well as the many contributions African Americans have made to our society. Republican lawmaker Representative Patricia Morgan said while she felt teaching African American history is important, she tried to amend the bill to require education about dozens of other ethnicities as well. The majority floor manager stepped in to say that amendment was not germane to the bill itself. This amendment has added almost every ethnic group that's found on the planet. This bill is about African American history, not the history of the globe. The whole amendment is non-germane. That's correct. What are we afraid to talk about all the other nationalities that make up Rhode Island and their contributions? So the bill calls for every school district to include a unit on African American history beginning in the 2022-23 school year. The bill now heads to the Senate for consideration. Live in studio, Alexandra Leslie, 12 News.